Okay, so what we have here is a rheostat made by Seam, C-E-A-M. The rea this particular one that we're using as a demonstrator to show you how all the components go back onto it, it does not currently have any wire on it, but imagine all those creases going around that uh, ceramic drum as wires. Uh, the reason we're putting this together is because our customer has disassembled their, their variable speed rheostat, and it does have kind of an interesting uh, characteristic when it gets down to one end. I'm going to let Matt take over here and describe exactly how this operates. So you can see there's two uh, spade lug terminals here. One goes to ground and one goes to the wiper motor uh, off for this for a Dino. And it, you rotate it and you can see the, the little wiper goes back and forth on what would normally be zero to 75 ohms of resistor wire going all the way across here. And when it gets to the uh, zero ohm side, essentially, this ramp right here actually makes contact with this spade lug terminal. It's probably hard to see, but it, as I go all the way to the side, it touches here. And that's very important because that then bypasses the resistor wire and causes it not to overheat when there's very minimal resistance going through it. And uh, it basically shorts one side to the other rather than going through a minimal amount of resistor wire. And that's what we need to prevent this from burning out. Great, so once again, uh, when, when we get down and are selecting only a few coils there, that's a lot of amperage going through just a few windings. So this is a safety device that, that immediately causes no resistance to occur so that the small number of wraps at the very end are not overheated. Is that correct? That's it. Okay, great. So that should give you a better idea of how this thing functions. Thank you for your patience.